Hello, and welcome to module 12 of setting up a journal in OGS 3.3, Users and Rules. As a journal manager, you're able to manage user accounts that have been created for your journal, including creating new accounts, merging accounts, adjusting roles, adjusting permissions, and removing accounts. This module has been divided into three units. This video is unit one, users. To access users and roles, log into your dashboard at the top right corner of your homepage. In the left hand menu, we'll go to the settings area and select users and roles. This page is a table of all the user accounts that have been created for your journal. It lists the basic information of first and last names, usernames, and email addresses. If you're looking for a specific user, you can use the search feature. This allows you to look up a user using any of these details. You can also limit the search based on the roles associated to the accounts. Roles will be discussed in more detail in Unit 2 of this module. Beside the search bar, there is the Add User button. Clicking on it will open a wizard to create a new user account. The mandatory fields are the same mandatory fields we set when creating our personal user accounts back in Module 4, registering and logging in. If you're creating an account on behalf of the user, you have the option to generate a random password for this user, as well as to indicate that the user must change their password upon their next login. Under More User Details, you'll find optional user profile details. When you finish the form, click OK. The wizard will update and prompt you to attach a role to this new account. Different roles come with different permissions, and assigning or removing them will change what dashboard elements the user has access to and what tasks within the editorial and publishing process can be assigned to this user. Select the appropriate role and tick on the box. Once you've added all the necessary roles, click on Save. Back on the user's table, clicking on the expansion arrow beside the username exposes several tools that can be used to manage the user account. First, you can click on the email button to open a wizard if you need to contact this user. You'll note that the To field populates automatically with the email address stored in the user account. Simply enter the subject and the body and then click on Send Email. Then, you can edit the user account by clicking on the Edit User button. Here, you'll be able to make changes to the person's name, contact information, and password. If you're setting a temporary password, you can indicate that the user must change their password on their next login. As a journal manager, you'll have the ability to access and change all registered user profiles. Then, you'll be able to, and if necessary, adjust the roles associated with this account. When you have completed your edits, click on OK. From the same list of expanded management options, you'll be able to both disable or remove a user account. Disabling the user will open a pop-up window requesting the reason behind our decision. We enter an appropriate explanation and click on OK. On a disabled user, the expanded menu shows an Enable button. Clicking on it will re-enable the user. We enter an appropriate reason for enabling the user and click OK. To remove a user, just click on the Remove button and Confirm. When you're logged in as a journal manager and view an account that is not your own, you have the ability to log in as that user. This feature allows you to complete actions on behalf of that user as well as to view the site through the roles. Finally, you're able to merge accounts. This feature is useful if a user accidentally creates more than one account, among other reasons. Clicking on the Merge User link will open a pop-up window where you can choose the user that you want to merge. 
the account you're merging no longer has a merge button. And if you click on the expansion arrow beside a second account, you'll see that the merge button has changed into merge into this user. The account we select first is the account that will be sublimated, while the account that we select second will become the permanent account. To complete the account merge, click on Merge into this user and confirm. This concludes our overview of the user section of the users and role settings. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next module.